So I'm looking at the sprite knight I picked up earlier, and interestingly, the main character doesn't seem to be able to use anything, really. It just, you click on a sprite knight slot, and it's just, boom, cyclone. The one I already have, and that's it. So that's surprising. I can go through the other ones a little bit, so I can equip lightning right here. I think I can just take them off whenever I feel like to. I think. I don't think they're particularly attached or anything. So, now Setsuna can cast uh, both Cure and Lightning. Enables use of Lightning. You uh, uses magical energy to create a bolt of lightning, causing magical damage light to all enemies near the target. And then with our other character here, we can equip Protect. Enables use of Protect. Uses magical energy to increase strength and immunity, boosting the defense of all allies near the target. So now she's got a useful spell that she can use. And... We have a support spite... Uh... A support slot that I can't put anything in yet, which is interesting. And we can use X to remove at any moment. But so, to be clear, even though it's called Cure, it's not a support. Oh right, because supports, I believe, are passive. Anyway, those are equipped now, at the very least. More gold peppercorny. So last time we met Niter and the Reaper and all that out here, nobody died. The Reaper's probably going to be a reoccurring villain, though. Maybe he'll be this game's, uh, Z uh... I almost said Ziegmeier. That's a completely different person. Uh, Siegfried. From Final Fantasy X. Because this game seems to take a lot of cues specifically from Final Fantasy X. Almost out of habit. I'll probably just attack normally first. Ow. Rude. There we go. Wow. Powerful, too. I made sure that I get her uh, proper dagger equipped too. Yep. And since we all leveled up, we should all be nice and scary now. Hey, calm down. And they're down. Level 9 already. So everyone has upgraded their weapon once now, and everyone has leveled up two or three times since around the time we were in the village originally, so. Uh, party's becoming powerful. And as usual, the items are just kind of respawning constantly all over the place. In the same locations, that's the weird part to me. So if you have, if you need a specific item, you go to the specific location where it spawns, and you can just keep showing up there over and over again and picking up over and over again. Just on the ground in the same exact spot. Which is slightly odd. If I want another Sprite Knight, for example. Well, I already have Lightning. If I wanted, like, Iron Vow. Physical defense power up, stuff like that. Uh, would I have them? The answer is no. I don't have the high grade money or uh, high grade honey or awakening grass. So for a decent chunk of stuff, we're still low on things. A uh, slow would be pretty nice for stopping an opponent from moving. If they're a big scary enemy, if I could reduce their the rate at which they get to use turns, that could be pretty nice. Kind of curious if I can afford that. The answer is no. I don't have powdered bone. Gotta work on that. I heard about from our men. You got rid of the man with the scythe, eh? I'm impressed. Perhaps you'd be fine without a guard. Although that won't be happening, of course. Are you alright now? You're not hurt? Oh yes, I'm fine. Twenty fractured bones, maybe? Nothing serious. Are you sure you're really... what you'd call fine? I saw that look on your face. She's only gonna slow us down. <laughs> Don't worry. Honestly, it's a quality I admire. If you leave the village and head northwest, you'll come to the Frost Caves. Loni is on the other side. I'll be waiting at the entrance, so head there once you're ready. She's just gonna wander off on her own? That seems awfully dangerous for a fractured bone lady. Although it's just how RPGs, Japanese RPGs tend to work as characters wander off camera and show up elsewhere. Um, let's just get her to unlock the entrance, then head on, our, on by ourselves. We don't need anyone holding us up. Okay, but is Niter around? Can we get him to join us? What's going on up here? Ooh, item. Water broccoli. I knew it all along, you know. niter has been fighting off the monsters every single day. He made me promise not to tell anyone, though. Imagine, doing all that, and keeping it a secret. So he's been pretending that the last summoner didn't fail. I mean, sacrifice didn't fail. This isn't the chef. 
I've made a horrible mistake. Here we go. Is there anything I want to do here before I leave? Do we want to buy more? Probably not. Salad's actually really expensive. You don't get much money from fighting, do you? You have to, you have, you have, to have to sell your resources. The problem is that the I'm constantly worried that I might need the resources for something else. I mean, it's just for cooking. So if I could isolate which things are cooking ingredients and which ones aren't, maybe that would help. This is a bit much, don't you think? What do you, uh, what do you think this place is exactly? The man selling herbs, I can just about understand, but a blacksmith? The chef's please, because he can get his pots and knives fixed on the spot, but really, come on. <laughs> it is just a weird hodgepodge of random NPCs smashed into one place that don't make much sense to be together. But it's a small town. Where are you going to put everybody otherwise? I should probably just go sell stuff. If it's just used for buying skills, then I'll have access to the skills anyway. And if it's used for cooking, then I should try to avoid selling those. So trying to figure out the difference between the two might be the main thing here. Let's see, sell? Materials. Oh, cool. So if it's used for cooking, it's probably the green? Judging by the fact that there's green ones that seem to be, f yeah. Like there's gems and stuff like here that seem to be white quality, but these green things seem like they're uh, food items. Let's go to the very bottom and start and sell from the top, the bottom to the top. As far as I can tell, there's no reason not to sell everything along the way, because the only established thing I've, that I've found for using these things is going to be uh, buying skills, and I assume that they're all one continuous network, right? It'd be weird if they weren't. It'd be kind of weird if they weren't. All right, now I have, now I have 16 grand. That's a lot. Now I can obtain all of these glowing sprite knights. Which is a decent chunk of them, but we don't have access to a lot of them, though. And, uh, if I swapped... If I wanted to get anything else, I'd have to swap out skills for some of these characters. Let's see. Any support ones? So all the ones on the bottom are support-based. Let's see. Magical energy increases Liberia's life force, boosting their hit points. Seems like it'd be nice to throw on a tanky character to make them harder to take down or something, or these, or these physical attack power and stuff like that, but, uh... Unfortunately, we just don't have the resources for them. Probably gonna have to proceed to the next dungeon in order to gain access to those kinds of things. So instead, I'm just gonna use some money to stock up on some healing items and revive items. Because I used up uh, more of them than I probably should have last time, but it happened. So, Athenian water. We have none of these, that's kind of a problem. Let's get a big ol' stack of those. And some potions? How many can you buy? A lot, apparently. Okay. I'll buy 10 more of those. I have 18 potions. Uh, MP, MP items are a little expensive. I'll see if I can get by without buying too many more of those. Alright, we'll see how it goes. Looks like you stockpile money pretty quickly. Unless I was not supposed to sell any of that stuff, then uh, I will learn to regret that later. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen Nidor around. I think I've just sort of settled on that pronunciation at that point. So let's check by the Frost Caves. I'm sure he'll join my party there. So the pilgrimage was a failure. I can't believe it. Why would he lie about something like that? He was bound to get caught out once the monsters started increasing. It sure is a lucky coincidence that their numbers haven't increased yet. <laughs> Nothing to say. Have you heard? The pilgrimage was a failure. I had my suspicions all along. We're pretty lucky that the village hasn't been overrun by monsters by now. A lot of similar... similar takes from character to character from a lot of the feedback here. It's okay. Thankfully, whenever... I like that whenever I leave a town I can immediately save, because the last thing I'd ever want to do is leave town, get killed, and then be like, oh, okay, let's redo all that management I just did of the items. <laughs> yep, that's the cave. I thought I saw it in the distance when we first walked up. So it seems like the right place. Howdy, folks. How you doing? Good? Alright. Looks like you're ready to go. Um, about that. 
Here you are, finally. Yep, there he is. As expected. Or were you really planning on letting an injured woman do the sacrifice on her pilgrimage? I just came to see them off. I see. Thing is, though, there's no longer a place for you here in Purica. I told everyone the truth, you see. The time has finally come. So you knew all along, after all. Huh? Feels like a great weight's been lifted off my shoulders. Damn it. How'd I end up with such a meddlesome master? Ha! Huh. It is me who, who has been cursed with a stubborn student. Unable to forgive yourself for failing, failing to protect the sacrifice, you punished yourself by continuing to fight and fight and fight. The regret of having let the sacrifice die keeps you chained to the past. But you won't find the answer you seek by continuing to guard Purica. If there is indeed an answer to be found, you will only find it in the last lands. You'll only find it once you see the sacrifice's journey through to its end. Isn't that so? Huh, I made it. You're... You're still my... You're still this village's hero. It doesn't matter if the pilgrimage was a failure or not. You've been protecting all of us all this time. Just like now, when you protected me from that man with the scythe. You've been fighting alone, protecting us all. And to think I called you a coward. I'm sorry. It's not just this village, either. You wanted to protect your hometown, too. That's, uh, that's why you stayed here and continued fighting off the monsters. However, I'm afraid holding off the monsters here will no longer suffice. The time has come. Heh. <laughs> Nothing gets by you, does it, Master? Besides, I know you're not going to let this young lady fight to save everyone's future by herself. Uh, hey, look. Monster. <laughs> wow. This is the end of your time at, as this village's hero. Isn't that right, Niter? Yeah, you're right. But I'll still be here in spirit. I want you to pick up where I left off and keep on protecting the village. Really, Niter, you'll come with us? If you want my help, I'll be happy to give it to you. As long as that's alright with you, Ender. Glad to have you. Thanks. I promise to protect Setsuna, no matter what. Well, we'll take care of things here. Don't you worry. And the next time you return, you will finally have finished your journey. Now to join the party. Boom. Just like that. Alright, let's swap them with, uh... Eterna. Give our new character a chance to breathe. I get the feeling you probably can't remove Ender, can you? Oh, you can. That's a surprise. I actually didn't think you could remove him from the party. Uh, I've played a fair number of games lately where that's not an option. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll swap them out this way. Um, he seems like he'd probably be really powerful, because he's from a previous pilgrimage. It'd be weird not to give him a chance to test him out. Yep, these are ice caves, all right. Bonsai! Oh, hi. We're immediately swarmed. All right, what are your texts? I didn't even check in time. Aerial strike. Leaps into the air and plummets down to deliver a powerful blow, causing physical damage to all enemies near the target. There's a trend there with the whole enemies near the target thing. I wonder if I, how I can get X-Strike to work again. I should check the party screen real quick to see if there's any crossover with this character or anybody else, because at the moment we've kind of lost that, haven't we? Let's go after this guy. Yeah. Whoa! That was no joke. Ow, why? Well, that was a short fight. The secret was to watch them all kill themselves. He seems to have pretty strong stats for a character that's actually lower level than we are. If he's, pr I wouldn't be surprised though if he's like Oren, where he's probably, he seems overpowered for a brief moment, but then the scaling catches up with you. Because ultimately, it'd be weird. It would be weird to not have characters be balanced at the end of the day. 
Um, let's hold off a second. I can do Cyclone with this character in a moment. Uh, excuse me? You smelly breath. On your chit. All right. We'll do a Cyclone. This guy's closest to the middle of the enemies right now. There we go. There's a... Wow, that was a strong momentum attack. Let's try Lightning. Haven't tried that yet. Not as murderous as the other one, but hey, at least they're going to go die alone in a corner over there. That's fun. Not quite killing them that way, though. Oh, ground rush. At least it wasn't a suicide explosion, because that hurts a lot more. Oh, there it goes. Nope. <laughs> you hit them both twice. Well, that wasn't very nice. I didn't appreciate that one bit. Oh. Just gonna sneak in here and grab a chest. Yeah! Provoke. New skill. Let's take a look over here. Party. So we have no crossover between characters now. Whereas these ones, yeah, those two have X strike together. So you miss out on that. Let's use your cure on yourself. It's rather necessary at that point. There we go. A few recoveries right there. We've got a new Sprite Knight. Might want to equip it on you since you're missing a slot. You only have two slots? I wonder if they go up as you level up. So, provoke. Uh, detect. Uh, directs enemy attacks towards the user. Also boosts the user's defense while in momentum mode. Don't see a reason not to equip it. So what's he using for a weapon? Guard sword? So everyone has a different weapon type that are all... Mutually exclusive for now. Do I have an item to give you? You should probably take off yours for now. Is you using the frog doll? That's your thing that fits your personality. Give you the starry will. Okay. Back into the fray. Hi. So do I want to go straight for the attack or wait for a skill? Probably should use that tech. Should I wait for the... Let's wait for the SP. See if I can get that to go up in time. And the, and so I pay the price. As it goes. Ow. Excuse me. Wow, they all got their attacks off back to back. Okay. There we go. So, aerial strike the middle guy. Oh, that's the middle guy now. For a strong attack. Next we'll do a cyclone. Also, close to the middle I can get. There we go. And then they all killed themselves. Yay! Wow, they all killed themselves. That's one approach, I suppose. Please select fluxes to add. Combo release, aerial strike. Why would I... I'm not very descriptive on what this stuff means, but I don't see any reason not to have it on. Seems like it'd be useful. So I must have just gotten something that can happen. Whoa, purple. Was... It goes flat. Is it... Is it... Is it gonna keep... What's the purple? <laughs> What's doing that? Ah! My brain! My eyes! Why are you flashing purple on me? Is it you guys? Does this, does this place just weirdly glisten -y? Oh, it's the poison. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not a... It's weird. Like, it's oddly, like, not very... Uh... How do I put it? There we go. Uh, I would say the, the, the effect of the poison weirdly doesn't come across as like, Oh, someone's in pain. Like, there's no, like, there's not, like, a vibration on the screen or, like, ooh. A, neg a negative sound, it's just a weird glowing purple, so I, I was like, ow, my eyes! I, I thought it was a graphical glitch. But no, that was, uh, that was, that was my healer being slowly, s slowly succumbing to horrible, horrible poison. And me just sort of watching. Well, at least I have a bunch of points to spend here. So we'll do some of that. Aerial strike, follow up with that. There we go. A lot of attacks in a row. Oh, they're just gonna blow up. Well, crap. Now who's now who's she gonna attack? I just I, I just told her I just told her attack. She attacked and and the fight ended. Um, the 
What happened to the bat? I wasn't looking at the bat when the fight started, but I heard a loud shriek and then it was gone. I think it must have fled the fight. Huh. Well, that's a thing, apparently. We'll see if a bat shows up again. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a good target for certain rare spawning resources. They keep giving me nice these nice uh, free early game points to spend on uh, momentum. That's just leading to devastating attacks. Are we out of range of self-destructs? Because they're probably just going to blow up. Yep. Nice. That was a bit lucky. If you get that momentum off, then you're pretty set. So I, I would not be surprised to find out that the uh, bat... Can I walk off this? Oh, I totally can. But it's, it's just a giant circle now, so I'm just... That was a waste of time, but... Now I know. Uh, the, uh... I wouldn't be surprised if the bat was had some sort of rare drop that's useful for some sort of food item or upgrade, or maybe even uh, something you want to farm so that you can buy a new Sprite Knight or Sprite Knight. So it's probably why that was dealing, what was going on there. Turn around, turn around, pretty please. Turn around. Oh, turning towards me. That's like the opposite of what I want you to do. If you could, like, politely look over... Can I go... Can I jump, jump off this ledge? Oh, now there's a seal waiting up there. They're, like, weird rejected Pokemon generations. Oh, you can't even walk off that. <laughs> My bad. Get him! There we go. Aerial strike. Alright, now they're nice and far away, so when they self-destruct, I won't get hurt. And they did. They did exactly that. They're, no they're nothing of not consistent, and that's very useful. We're now two levels above our new Oren melee character. But, uh, he's pulling his own weight just fine, so it doesn't seem to matter too bad. So I can go up or left. Curious which one looks like forward progress and which one looks like side path. Or Ooh! Hello, save point. And another ability to move, so that's probably... I would guess going all the way left is probably how I proceed in the story. Let's throw a save in there real quick. And ambush these guys with looking away! Haha! -ha! We are right up in your business, how do you feel about that, huh? Aerial strike. I missed my chance, whoops. Make it, make it count? Oh, I think I got that. Yeah, I got it that time. Now they're both gonna pop over there. Yeah, we're, we're not we're not we're not really in danger in this case. There we go. So I'm getting better at watching the sparkle and attacking at the right time. I think going left is the story is the story progression. So I want to go kill these extra mobs around here and see if I'll level up a few times. Oh, it looks like there's a chest up there too. I see it. It was worth checking. And along the floor, there's probably random items that are useful for specific things that I haven't found in the past. So keep, keep an eye out for those, too. Um, might use items to restore everyone's energy before we continue, because it'll probably be a big fight. This game seems to like to throw monster bo uh, boss monsters at you relatively frequently. Alright, if I hit them with a big momentum attack, they might just all immediately suicide. Not immediately, not immediately. Okay. Um, oh, there's the suicide. Well, crap. <laughs> Well, crap. Missed my momentum strike. Yep, there's the self-destructs. Level 10, though. That's more or less what I was hoping for. And he was the one person low on energy, and since he leveled up, he will now have full energy, which means no one really needs to be use potions to recover. Cool. I mean, ether. No, no one needs to recover their... Uh, their casting power. So that means I can go into this next encounter probably just ready to beat everything down. There's a save point and a bridge going somewhere, so I just assume that we're gonna have a another boss fight again, because this game throws them at you every 30 minutes so far, it seems. Oh, that's a big room. Oh yeah, look, boss fight, I found it. I was right. <laughs> hey, Turtlemon. This thing's the reason why the cat didn't want to let you through with a guard of just two. I mean, 
I'm sure greater numbers would make it, it easier uh, to let the sacrifice alone and escape. But if we can't even make it past here, we ain't gonna get anywhere. Here it comes. And then she just mag she just disappears instantly. <laughs> Alright. Tech options. Let's provoke it. That's probably a good idea to use. Try to focus on this character. Should I try to use momentum, though? Let's try to charge up my, mom my, mom my momentum, I guess. Because that seems to be how that works. Oh, that's probably bad. Pain. My life is pain. Alright, provoke. There's the momentum. There we go. You're going to... Should I cure him or attack with lightning? He's not super low yet, so I'll probably attack with lightning instead. Uh, other character first. Uh, going to attack. There we go. Now she has the energy to, to lightning with the bonus set effect. Light resistance down. Oh, cool. That'll probably make the next one even more effective. That looked like it hit everybody. That's probably bad. That is very likely a bad thing. Alright, let's give this a shot. Slam! There's some bonus damage right there. Uh, no one's really hurt yet, so we're gonna keep waiting for... Oops! Okay, actually he's pretty hurt now. <laughs> now let's wait for the... There we go. Now momentum's ready. Boom. ATP boost. She's actually gave her a head start right there, didn't it? Oh, that's, that might be bad. Ah, he's okay. He's fine. Everything's fine. We're gonna lightning again. A lot of momentum triggers right now. I'm, I'm getting close to 100% success rate on triggering those the way I'm supposed to. No one's still no, no a lot of damage coming our way. I, I might just keep going with lightning. I'm just a little worried that I might go, oh. Well, physical attacks probably aren't going to work now. Maybe I should just store up my CP now, because that'll make, make it possible to attack faster and more effectively in the future. But let's see how effective lightning turns out to be. Oh, wow, that disabled it. There's that. Okay. Oh crap! I already triggered my I already triggered my attack before that happened. Awkward. We'll just lightning again. Wait for it to charge up. Do do do. Here we go, lightning. Stop hiding. Seems to be all the more reason to uh, save up my attack so they can all attack the moment he comes out of his shell. I probably should have waited for the other character CP to be ready, so he could attack directly without him getting to a chance to escape. There we go. Tries to hide in his shell. <laughs> That's adorable. Oh, there he goes again. All right, everyone, st everyone, just go ahead and save up their energy then. And I'm going to get ready with my lightning as soon as everyone has their CP charged up. There we go. Lightning. Then everyone get their attacks off in a row. There we go. How much hit points does he have? He's stick. He's really sticking it out. Ow! Quickly before he hides. All right, I'm going to want to use an ether to restore my energy. Oh, it's over. Wow! Wow! That was like so many types of kill. <laughs> I guess that. I guess my energy re regeneration was pointless because the fight ended. But okay. Wow. How many types of it's like it's like energy, light, dark, mass, philosophy, <laughs> exact, momentum kill. <laughs> Ew. So once we get through here, we'll be in Flonia. Yeah, that's right. Let's go. We need to make up for lost time. And so we go. Item, I saw you. I saw you glittering back here. The whole fight. There we go. Blue salt rock. I like the lack of random encounters. It's kind of calming. It means I can just wander around the environment and be like, Yeah, we're wandering over here now. Let's keep exploring. Because when the enemies show up, you can see them, so you can know, you know when it's going to happen. 
It's, it's honestly oddly aggravating to walk around an environment and have the game randomly sort of start... It almost feels like the game's yelling at you or an alarm's going off. Like, oh yeah, walking across this peaceful meadow. I'm like, what? I didn't stop it. Leave me alone. And then you don't want to explore because like, oh, I could explore over there, but like four encounters are going to happen along the way there. And I don't, I don't know, man. I kind of don't want to deal with it right now. <laughs> Maybe later, and which usually often means never. Hey, found Flonia. Well, that was easy enough. The present Lord of the Citadel is said to be a dutiful man, and very popular with the people. Maybe he'll be able to help us. <laughs> I like how cutscenes keep happening where everyone shows up, and they don't say anything, but they're in the cutscene. But then the, they just they just magically fade away a second later with no acknowledgement that the cutscene has ended. It's actually gonna, as the party grows, that'll be my primary way of knowing when the cutscenes stop and start. Is that people like Eterna just sort of fade in and out without a word on the screen. There she is again. <laughs> Tenderville is on the other side of the the Mislay Woods to the north of here. The sick and wounded are well cared for, and those with no uh, one else to turn to are warmly received. Oh, um, but we... Our, our village was attacked by monsters. We escaped with only the clothes on our backs, so we... Oh, is that all? There's no need to worry about the money. Lord Avalo is a man of great benevolence. That's why he's thin- is that why you're thin-faced? <laughs> oh, my. What a great man his lordship truly is. Will I be able to make new friends? Yes, I'm sure you make a lot of friends. In the salt mines. <laughs> Alright! Hooray for his lordship! This man will show you to the village, where you will never leave. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for everything. And so they go. Not They don't get to come into the keep where it's safe. They get taken to some other village where they're promised to be safe. But not the giant keep that seems really safe. So that makes me wonder if maybe Tenderville might be uh, rid ridiculous? I don't know. We'll find out. Huh? Do you want to go to Tenderville too, do you? Oh, you want to go to Tenderville too, too, do you? Tenderville? No? And what business do you have here in Flonia? If you wish to be granted entry to the Citadel, we must first state, uh, you must first state your identity. We're here with a sacrifice. A sacrifice? My name is Setsna. I'm traveling to the last lands in order to offer myself up as sacrifice. We have come here in hope that his lordship will offer his assistance. What? You should have said so sh sooner. I hope to, to have caused no offense. Please, enter. Lord Avalo is in the castle to the north of town. Well, that was easy. No, no evidence or proof or anything? Cool. Tenderville was built by the uh, uh, at the behest of his lordship, Lord Avalo. It was created to offer a safe haven to the, all the people whose homes have been destroyed by monsters. Please excuse my impoliteness. I did not realize you were the sacrifice's party. His lordship, Lord Avalo, is sure to offer you his assistance. I don't know, I'm just paranoid about twists and stuff like that, so I fully expect something horrible to happen with Tenderville. Either it gets attacked by monsters, like, oh no, we better, we, new motivation to succeed, or maybe it's just a messed up nightmare, like, ghetto where they throw all the peasants that haven't been able to survive on their own. Oh, look, it's everybody again. Hi. Let's see, I should probably just sell off my stuff again, right? Oh, maybe the advice is useful. Magic Consortium, they're found in villages across the land. Um, I think they're just explaining how you make Sprite Night. Alright. I'm avoiding greens because they seem to be useful for recipes, I think. There we go. I got a lot more of them, too. Now you can obtain zero support Sprite Nights. Or support Nights. Oh, physical pride. Boost your physical attack power. I'll take it. Seems like it'd be useful. Aerial Strike. Uh, so I could buy one of those for my main character, probably. Otherwise, uh, whoa, in Thunder. Enables use of in Thunder, adds the light element to the attacks of all allies near the target. Ooh, 
Light elemental attacks will also cause more damage, so you can buff the damage of your party. And you can learn lightning and cure and shock. Unleash a blast of ma a concentrated magical energy, causing... Oh it, oh, it says on the screen who they're usable by. So this is usable by Endir. So... Unleash magical attack that does physical damage null to all enemies near the target. I'm surprised shock is a physical attack. So that's a big deal, as everyone, it says specifically who can use them on this screen. Okay. So, let's see. So it looks like Aura is a healing skill that Ender can use. I should just buy one of, a, a few of some of these, just because I can, and I don't have them yet. Might as well have some of these. See, in Thunder, let Setsuna to add lightning to our weapons. That could be really effective for combat. And I can aff apparently afford 22 of them, so it's no big deal to just buy one right now and go for it. Alright. Whoa, new slot. So our slots do increase. Okay. Wait, why do you only have two slots? I thought you had... I thought you had three slots. Huh. I thought she had more than that. A command sprite knight. Shock and aura. Does that mean that they can't... Oh no, they, uh... Commands are commands, so they can go anywhere anyway. Okay. Uh, shock and aura. I mean, I'm just gonna equip both of them, honestly. Aura. And then there's physical pride. There we go. Do you have a support to equip? Nope. Not unless I want to buy more physical pride. I'm gonna buy all the physical pride. Uh, do I want to give you protect? That's a boost for everyone's defenses. We can almost give it to him. I'm using him in the party right now, after all. No. Never mind, it's only usable by her. Can't really swap them out between characters as much. I should check for if there's access to new weapons. Um, I now have 15 grand. Can you cook something for me? Um, just collect different uh, combinations of ingredients to get more recipes. Okay. Right now we just have the salad. Okay, that confirms the salad shows up in different towns after you acquired it. One of them, that's good. Kind of expensive. Maximum hit point boost and experience earned would be fantastic. Um, you know, I'm gonna buy one. I'm gonna buy one and I'm gonna very carefully try to... I'm gonna try to be right this time. Uh, last time I, I tried to use it because I was like, Oh, the village is gonna be under attack. Let's go fight the boss with this. And then the... the but, uh, I was wrong that time. But this last time, I was 100% right about the last boss, about where it was located. So if I had a, if I had a salad before that... I would get more experience and more health and just generally have an easier time against the fight and get a better reward at the end, so... Uh, we'll see if I can pr correctly predict the next boss fight this time and eat the salad in time. Get the apothecary. I should probably stock up on... I mean, I could use a few... ethers because we've used some of them. We don't want to run out of those ever. There we go. Just making sure I have some of the basics. Oh, what a tent. Recovers the hit points and MP of all characters and also removes all status ailments. Ooh. Stock up on some of those. So that's how- so if you're not in combat, that's how you want to recover, because it fully heals your party. Okay, so use the tent outside of combat to fully heal the party. Did I check your advice already? Oh, that's about tempering items. I don't think I can temper? Oh, tempering's not even a thing you can do. That's the other character. Oh, hello there. I haven't seen any other travelers in a long time. Well, enjoy your stay. What's your deal, introspective man? Grumpy looking man. His former lordship, Lord Dennis, was a wonderful man. A truly wonderful man. And who we got in exchange? Tut tut, that idiot son of his. Oh, and he's not a vendor. He's just bitchy. <laughs> Hello? You're the blacksmith hang hanging out outside, right? Yep, weppies and tallies. We can get new items for everyone, and they're kind of expensive, so I probably shouldn't have uh, spent so much money just now. It's fine, it's fine. Ooh, tempering items. Mithril. This item can be used to strengthen weapons, raising attack power and defense power. It can strengthen a weapon to roughly one, f uh, but to one fourth of its maximum stats. Huh. Cost 5,000. That's no small deal. A lot of talismans again. Let's get, a uh, 
let's get our new a new great sword and a new short sword, and we'll we'll hold off on upgrading the chakrams. She doesn't necessarily always attack directly with them anyway. Although I guess they upgrade all of her stats. It's fine. I'll go fight some monsters, and we'll get a chance to swap our stuff in. The important thing is I'm using my money because I am absolutely one of those people that has a tendency to hoard their money and not upgrade as fast as they should. So this is actually a character growth uh, moment for me. All right. So our characters are leveling up. We're getting better equipment. We're ready to take on the world.